लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द वी डी आर एल टेस्ट फॉर सिफलिस एंड वाई वी डी आर एल टेस्ट इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट मोस्ट ऑफ इन यूज फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ सिफलिस वॉट इज वी डी आर एल टेस्ट फॉर सिफलिस द वी डी आर एल टेस्ट इज अ स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट फॉर सिफलिस सिफलिस इज अ क्रोनिक बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन दैट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू सेक्शुअल कॉन्टैक्ट सिफलिस इज काउज बाय अ टाइप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया नोन एज ट्रिपोनिमा पैलिडम इट मेजर सब्सटेंसेज प्रोटीन्स कार्ड एंटीबॉडीज विच योर बॉडी मे प्रोड्यूस इफ यू हैव कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द बैक्टीरिया दैट कॉज सिफलिस Why VDRL test is performed? This test is used to screen for syphilis. The bacteria that causes syphilis is called Trypanosoma pallidum. Syphilis is caused by a bacterial infection. In 1905, the German scientist discovered trusted source that the bacterium Trypanosoma pallidum is responsible for the infection. At first, the bacterial infection has minimal to no symptoms. minimal to no symptoms as time goes on the infection progresses to affect multiple systems in your body which can then have several effects your doctor may order this test if you have sign and symptoms of sexually transmitted illness syphilis screening is a routine part of prenatal care during pregnancy let's discuss how syphilis transmitted the only way syphilis is transmitted is through direct contact with syphilitic shankers or sores these sores tend to develop or in the or on the mouth penis vagina anus syphilis is primarily transmitted trust is sore sexually that means you can con contact it through oral anal or vaginal sex or direct genital to genital contact what are the symptoms of syphilis let's discuss first has recently been treated for syphilis second believes that they may have had exposure to t pallidum third is currently receiving treatment for another sti fourth engages in sexual activity without the use of barrier contraceptives a person should get a tested for syphilis if they have experiences the following symptoms the appearance of shankers this is a painless round firm sore the shankers will heal after 3 6 weeks trusted source even if a person does not receive treatment the appearance of rashes or sore the rash may be red and rough and sores may appear on areas of the body let's understand the vdrl and the syphilis result mean normal result mean a negative test is normal it means that no antibodies to syphilis have been seen in your blood sample the screening test is most likely to be positive in the secondary and the latent stages of the syphilis this test may give a false negative result during early and late stage syphilis this test must be confirmed with another blood test to make the diagnosis of syphilis let's understand the vdrl and syphilis result the abnormal result mean a positive test result mean you have or you may have syphilis if the test is positive the next step to confirm the result with an fta abs test which is more specific is syphilis test the vdrl test ability to detect syphilis depends on the stage of the disease the test sensitivity to detect syphilis near 100% during the middle stages it is less sensitive during the earlier and the later stages there are also some condition may cause a false positive test result mean 
including causes of false positive test result hiv aids lyme disease certain types of pneumonia malaria systematic lupus erythematosus the body does not always produce antibodies specifically in response to the syphilis bacteria recommended some recommended screening for syphilis infections in the following populations so must read carefully first men who have sex with men people living with hiv pregnant women trusted source a doctor may use a vdrl test to screen for syphilis if someone have symptoms let's come to the main point of this presentation treatment for the high or positive syphilis or vdrl when diagnosed and treat in its early stages syphilis is easy to cure the preferred treatment at all the stages is penicillin an antibiotic medications that can kill the organism that causes syphilis if you are allergic to penicillin your doctor may suggest another antibiotic or recommend penicillin d sensitization the recommended treatment for primary or secondary or the early stage latent syphilis which refers to an infection within the last year it is a single injection of penicillin if you have had syphilis for longer than a year you may need additional doses penicillin is the only recommended treatment for the pregnant woman with syphilis women who are allergic to penicillin can undergo a desensitization process that may allow them to take penicillin treating and curing syphilis or vdrl primary and secondary syphilis are easy to treat as we have already discussed with a penicillin injection penicillin is one of the most widely used antibiotics and is usually effective in treating syphilis people who are allergic to penicillin will likely to be treated with different antibiotics if you have neurosyphilis neurosyphilis you will get daily doses of penicillin intravenously this will often requires a brief hospital stay the damage caused by late syphilis can't be reversed the bacteria can be killed but treatment will mostly likely focus on easing pain and discomfort During the treatment make sure to avoid sexual contact until or sores on your body are healed and your doctor tells you are it's safe to resume sex if you are sexually active your partner should be treated as well as here is the most important advice for all of you that don't resume the sexual activity until you and your partner have completed treatment